Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. I was gonna do a short practice exam on assembling objects in the ASVAB placement exam. So the ASVAB is a military placement exam to see what jobs you can be qualified in. A lot of different tests in there, math and English, reading comprehension, um, but there's also mechanical portions. So there's a mechanical, there's auto. Um, I've done some previous videos on those and this one is really like your ability to kind of geometrically, spatially recognize objects. So this portion of the exam is called assembling objects. I'm gonna go through this practice exam. I'll put a link to it in the description. I recommend you have a piece of paper in front of you to kind of scratch these out, do the problems before I do them, and then see how I do them. And maybe you'll pick up some tips and tricks on how I do this. Just a little bit of practice will go a long way when you take these exams. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Assembling objects for each pair of labeled shapes in questions one through eight, choose the figure that shows how they would connect correctly. I have figures A and B and I'm gonna connect them with a line segment AB. So that's gonna touch there and there like that. So I am touching the flat side here. The broken edge is up on the opposite side. So this doesn't make sense. I'm touching the broken. This doesn't make sense. Here I am touching the opposite side of the broken edge as I am here. So it either has to be C or D. Then I look towards B, there's the top of this can and there's the bottom, it's attached to the bottom of the can like it is here. It's a top, attached to the top of the can here, so that's not it. So number one is C. Number two, same thing. I'm gonna attach this line segment from A to B. It's a straight line. It's on the long side of the rectangle, so like that or like that not like that or that, so that works. And it's this a trapezoid, it's on the long side of the trapezoid, so that works. That's the short side, not that one. That's the side of the trapezoid, not that one. So the only one that works is answer A. Number three, I'm attaching the line from here to here. So it's the long side of that kind of blast. So that one will work. That one will kind of work. That one will not work. That one will not work. On this H with the cross, it's on the bump of the H. So not that one. It has to be that one right there through a process of elimination. That's number three. Number four, straight line from A to B here. So on the A, there's no cross above that circle, but it's right at the top. So that one will not work. That one will, that one will not, that one will not. I don't even have to go to the part B. Um, this is it right there. So that's number four. Number five is also kind of a star explosion and kind of an off rectangle with the curve. It's at that far point of the star to the rounded end of the rectangle. I think I'm gonna start with that rounded end of the rectangle. So it's that one would work. This one would not. This one would not. This one would work. Then I have to go to that outside point right there that one does work, and I can see that one does not work, so it's not that one at all, so five would be A. Problem number six is kind of on the long point on the long side of A to the back corner of B. Let's start with object A. It's on the long corner without a break across it, so that would not work. That one would, that one would, that one would not work. So through a process of elimination, I've missed A and D. I just have to look at B now. It's on the back corner of B. That would not work, but that would. So if you took this one and rotated it, you could see it's on that back corner of B. So this is a correct answer here, uh, not this one. Number seven, we have an arrow. The A point is at the start of the arrow and the B is on the long side of the trapezoid. Right, so I'm connecting them there to there. Let's take a look at the back end of the arrow, that one would work, this one would not, this one would not, this one would, and then it's at the top of a trapezoid opening up, so that one I can eliminate, but this one right here is the top of the trapezoid, the longer side to the base of the arrow, number seven is D. Okay, number eight, um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing, it's a practical math channel, it's Colfax Math, I'll put a link to this in the description. And I think this is the last problem on this test. You can see just reviewing it to get the idea of the problems will probably help a lot. So keep studying, make a big difference on that ASVAB exam. So on A, it's the side of a cylinder. 
and on B it's the top of the clover. So side of the cylinder, that one works. Side of the cylinder, that one works too. This one does not work, and this one does not work because of the side of the clover. These two are hard right here to pick between these two, but if that cylinder is facing down, it would be away from the clover, which that would work. If the thing's facing down, the dot would be on this side, right? And it's not, so that one does not work, so the correct answer is answer A. So even if you're not great at spatial reasoning, you can figure out a lot of these problems through a process of elimination, marking up the test as much as you can. All right, any questions, post them in the comments. Thank you.